Fellow Ghanaians, tomorrow, Sunday the 25th of December, Christians the world Fellow Ghanaians, tomorrow, Sunday the 25th of December, Christians the world over will celebrate Christmas, the birth of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. On behalf of the government, my wife Rebecca, the First Lady, my daughters, my grandchildren and my entire family, I send warm greetings and best wishes for the season to all Ghanaians. We join millions across the world in recognizing the sense of renewed hope this joyous season brings us to thank Almighty God for his indescribable gift. Born in a manger, the lowest of places in the world, Jesus Christ's life on earth was not defined by the circumstances of his birth. Such was the influence of his time on earth that he has become the author and finisher of our faith. And through him, we have eternal life. That should give each and everyone encouragement for a brighter future, irrespective of the difficulties of his or her current situation. Over the last three years, we've been confronted with our own captivity in Babylon moments. We've had to ride turbulent storms and we have been faced with the unknown. Indeed, there were moments where we doubted our ability to surmount these challenges. I'm happy that in spite of it all, we're beginning to emerge out of the difficulty encourages me to say that with hard work, dedication, and continued prudence in the management of the affairs of our nation, we will rise up again. Let us continue to draw divine inspiration and guidance from the story of Christmas. And let us be prepared to make the sacrifices that will enable us to build the happy, progressive, and prosperous Ghana we all desire. I urge all of us to celebrate the season safely and responsibly. To those who are in a more fortunate position, remember to lend a helping hand to those who are in need. Let each one of us do our bit to help feed those who are hungry and offer comfort to those in distress. Let us provide the famous Ghanaian hospitality to the thousands and thousands of people who are visiting us this Christmas. As our capital, Accra, and our country, Ghana, have become important global destinations for Christmas holidays. Let us take the time to gather, love, listen, and learn from each other. And to remember that, with the help of God, we can overcome any challenge and achieve any future of which we can dream. May the celebration of Christmas bring joy to all people. And may the new year usher in a new era of blessing and growth for you, the people of Ghana, for everyone you hold dear, and for all the peoples of the world. May God bless us all and our homeland Ghana and make it great and strong. I thank you all for your attention and once again wish each one of you Merry Christmas.